there exists a significant difference between the term rate and gradient. When we talk about rate, we are talking about how the physical quantity changes with time. For example, a change of velocity with respect to time is called acceleration. But what? If there exists a change in velocity with respect to distance? In this case, we call it velocity gradient. So, these two words, gradient and rate, have a great difference. Now, consider water flowing through this pipe. The velocity acts only in x direction. I have marked some green point here. The velocity of water at these green points is same. It seems the velocity is not changing with time. As time passes the velocity stays constant. So the rate of change of velocity, which is acceleration in this case is zero. But, what about velocity gradient? Well, the velocity is not changing on x direction, so change in velocity with respect to x is zero. But, there exists different story for velocity in y direction. In fluid mechanics, due to no slip condition, there exists difference in velocity between adjacent layers of the fluid. Velocity at pipe wall would be zero, whereas velocity at pipe center would be maximum. Imagine these fluid layers as a brick. Brick at pipe center, posse's maximum velocity, whereas brick at the pipe wall have zero velocity. Due to friction between brick, velocity changes in y direction. These change in velocity with respect to y direction creates velocity gradient. Now, sum up these x and y changes, you will get a velocity gradient. Suppose, you have a three-dimensional metallic plate, and you put one end of it above a fire. Let this plate be heated for some interval of time. The temperature of this plate could depend upon time and the position which is x, y and z location. Now, remove the fire. Let us mark the initial temperature at those green points. And let it cool down. The temperature on these green point decreases with time. These change in temperature with respect to time is the temperature rate. But the temperature is also different at different position. Temperature changes along the length of plate, along the breadth, and along the height. Now, sum up these equation, you will get a temperature gradient. Now, consider temperature reading which is given by this function in space. At origin, the temperature is found to be 100 degrees Celsius. Similarly, at this coordinate, the temperature is found to be 97 degrees Celsius. Let us generate some temperature reading on some of the points. You will notice that, the maximum temperature is found to be at the origin. Generate, as many temperature as you can, the result is same. Maximum temperature is found only on origin. The gradient of this temperature field gives the vector direction towards the origin. No matter where in space you are. For example, the temperature at this coordinate is, 97 degree which is scalar quantity. Whereas the gradient at that same point is a vector. It is directed on negative 2 in both x, y and z coordinates. The resultant of these vector, which is the red arrow points towards origin. Plot every resultant of these gradient vectors in space, it points towards origin. So, at each point in the region, it gives the direction for which the increase in temperature is greatest. The resultant of gradient vectors, point toward the origin. Now again consider water, flowing through this pipe. Fluid particles always flows from higher pressure to lower pressure. Here water is flowing towards positive, x direction, so the pressure at left side must be higher than pressure at right side. These difference in pressure, along the length of pipe creates pressure gradient. As pressure is function of position. Pressure gradient exists. Note, if pressure at those green points, do not changes with time, then, change in pressure with time do not exist.
but if pressure changes with time, like this then, not only position, pressure is function of time also. So both pressure gradient and pressure rate exist. 